So what have people been talking about here at Tulane? Well, there was a lot of conversations about Mr. Sokol. That's been, if you have to say, what's the most immediate topic? That's been one of quite interest among the people here. That's got to be topic one. And what's the take then on, on not just Sokol, <sighs> but, but Buffett, Berkshire Hathaway? Well, look, it's, um, I, I, I'd sum it up this way. I, I don't think I have a strong uh, handle on all the facts, but based on what I know, it, uh, it's not, I don't think he did anything illegal. But I think you know, most of the professionals would say, you know, this looks an awful lot like front-running um, your employer. Um, and I have to say, on Wall Street, that's something that most people were pretty taken aback to see. I was quite surprised to see that kind of activity taking place. And in terms of, you, you mentioned Wall Street, obviously private equity firms are in the business of buying and selling companies. What, I, I, yeah, I'll put it this way, I think you know, my experience is if you work in a private equity shop, your ability to actually buy and sell individual stocks is quite limited. Um, you know, I think the procedures vary, but I, it's certainly not something that's strongly encouraged, let's put it that way. It may be possible, but in some cases it's more theoretical than real, um, simply because of the procedures they have in place. And, you know, and it would be, the, if there's anybody who's on a list of, of, of companies that they're, you know, have any level of interest in, clearly people aren't buying those. That those things are just pretty much off the table. So that's why I think most people would say, gee, this was a surprising, uh, surprising turn of events.